So here we have a 2003 Ford Focus. It is a 2.0 liter split port. This is one with a single overhead cam. Today I will be replacing the alternator, which is located right there. And yes, it looks pretty new, but this one has faulted. I went to get it tested after I replaced it and it was overcharging my battery. So I am going to replace it. So replacing the alternator requires you to remove this bolt along with that bolt. And then you're going to remove that red cable wire, which is what grounds the alternator to the battery, as well as a sensor and then another bolt, which I'll show you when I have a better angle. And the tools that you are going to use for this is going to be a 10 millimeter and a 13 and a 14. <clears throat> you will also need a breaker bar or something of that sort. In order sort. to remove the alternator, you need to release the tension. So you will need to use that breaker bar for leverage in order to make the pulley loose. So first things first, as always, you want to remove your negative and positive connection of the battery, especially working with the alternator. Okay, battery is removed. Next, we are going to remove this water reservoir tank. We will be using a 10 millimeter to remove this bolt right down here. And I have both a socket and a regular wrench, whichever one, because the space is kind of tight. Let's see which one does the trick. Get this camera fitted here. Okay, I did forget to mention you might need a screwdriver when you are removing this water reservoir because there is a clip that you have to push down in order to get it out. You might need a thinner screwdriver. Off. a lot easier than that okay now that the water reservoir is out of the way I'm able to see the pulley and I will be using the 13 millimeter to attach to that bolt and along with my breaker bar so that I can get leverage so that I can remove this serpentine belt off of the pulley system okay now I am trying to remove the belt from all these pulleys and I have to place this 13 millimeter on the tensioner so that I am able to push on it. And sometimes it's a little hard. You gotta get it just right. as well as get into this tight space. I never understood how mechanics were so big with their hands. Okay, so you see I release some of the tension. So now I should be able to get this belt off. Alright? the got the belt off now i'm going to raise the car so that i can get underneath it so here you have the belt is off 
of all of the police. And now I am able to come over here. And now I will begin removing the alternator. So that third, the third screw I was referring to is right there. And what you're going to need is a deep socket, 5 8 millimeter. Okay, I will now be removing these two bolts with a 13 millimeter. break free the other one probably some weight on it so it's not allowing me to pull that one out of the way yet okay that one was pretty easy I am now almost done with removing the two nuts out of the top part of the alternator. I got one screw out. Now I will be removing this sensor as well as this ground wire. It is no longer grounded because, as I stated, the first thing that I did was remove the battery. I believe this is a 10 millimeter. And if so, I do have a socket for it. I don't think the socket is going to do. I might be able to get this on the top. is to remove this clip right here and that will do so from the top seems like it's been easier to get to these tight spots from above okay and now the alternator is almost completely removed I have one more bolt and then it will be completely detached from okay. the car. And this is the final screw that you have to remove. You will need an extended socket, 5 8 socket. Okay, so it's 5 8 I have now completely detached the alternator from the entire engine and I have seen a lot of YouTube videos that were talking about removing so many different things. I'm going to show you the easiest way to get this out of here and it is by just four clips that are holding the fan and I apologize my light has left me so I will try to get the best angle. So here we are underneath the vehicle, and I apologize, like I said, I'm losing light. But there are two clips that you can remove, and it'll make this so much easier. The clips are right here, and the other one is going to be right here. 
these are all you will need to do and you will be able to pop this fan right out of the way and then you'll be able to remove the alternator right through the top of the front of the engine. So now I'm going to show you the easiest way to remove the alternator now that it is completely detached from the vehicle. I saw a lot of videos and they were removing a lot more things that I even had the patience to do so I just looked around and I found four clips that hold the fan to the radiator so they are right here and the other one is just right here if you can see where my finger is touching and they are also the same on the other side so all I did was I popped this up as well as popping this up and that came out and then I'm going to do the same on the other side I'm going to pop this up and it's a little this one's a little stuck okay got it popped it up and removed it out of where it was sitting and now this is out of the way and now I'm going to go to the top of the car and I'm going to grab the alternator out from the top so now I'm going to drop the fan just a little bit just to have it right there and now I can safely grab the full alternator oh, I gotta play with it and there you have it this is like I said the new one that I did already replace but it was faulty so I will be returning this and replacing it with a new one